Unfortunately, this is the only campus in North Carolina dealing with some issues. Recent crimes on and around North Carolina A&T's campus are prompting police to take action. A person was shot outside the student center Friday night after a fight, and we have learned that earlier in the day, another person was shot on Circle Drive near campus. Fox 8's Caroline Boyer is live at North Carolina A&T. And so, Caroline, the university has said it's stepping up security efforts. What specifically will that look like? Natalie, Chad, there will be more officers here in and around the student center. They're also stepping up patrols in the areas of off campus housing. Now, it's important to note no students were hurt in either of the Friday incidents, but many are shaken up. Classes started less than a week ago, and already there have been two shootings in the area. In response, the university is restricting car access to the student center starting at 9 p.m. every night. Visitors will have to show their Aggie One ID cards to enter the building. There's also a new policy which gives campus police the authority to remove unwanted people from campus. Chief Jermaine Cherry spent the summer adding new technology like license plate readers, dozens of cameras in each building, and a safety app students can download. I got a chance to talk with him ahead of the school year about the ways his team is working to protect students and staff. Things happen on campus, things happen in the area of campus, but we all work together to make sure we mitigate those, we respond to those appropriately, we hold individuals accountable. Friday night's shooting here outside the student center remains under investigation. I checked with, just checked with police a few minutes ago and they have not made any arrests yet. Live in Greensboro, Caroline Boyer, Fox 8 News.